Hello middle school power searchers. We are on a variety of sources underneath module 4 of learning to search with Google. All right, let's get started. So in this lesson, in this module, we've been really talking about digging deeper. Well, let's talk about other places that we can dig deeper, uh, different sources that we can dig and find additional ways to answer our questions beyond just a simple web search. So as, an, as a quick activity, let's do a search on complex paper airplanes. Sounds legitimate, right? So let's do a search for that. So in this search, uh, the obvious results come up, so we get um, some different content that comes up, um, some images, and it looks like a whole different slew of different uh, ways to look at complex paper airplanes. But beyond that, let's not forget about our filters. We can dig into videos because you know seeing and seeing a complex airplane, paper airplane, is one thing, but seeing a video of it working or being made is probably much more helpful for what we're looking for. So don't under, underestimate these power of these videos. Images is probably just as important as well. So uh, here's a, uh, a paper airplane from Star Wars. It's one made out of money. Some of these are pretty complex and paper and pretty dynamic. So It'd be interesting to be able to mimic these and then you can use this as a starting point to find out well then how do I make one of these so you can dig in a little bit deeper so never underestimate the power of videos and images in your search okay let's take another quick uh, look at something on a completely different search let's look at the ruins of Mexico so the ruins of Mexico is a pretty dynamic or interesting concept so we get some videos, that's obvious. There's a Google Earth run through. We didn't want that. Let me go back. There we go. There's, a, uh, there's an Earth run through of uh, all the different maps of uh, ruins, of Mayan ruins. Uh, there's a whole bunch of content there. Under web, we've got some more information. Of course, there's always images and uh, a simple map. But don't also forget about maybe books. So if we click on just books, then there's some information we'll be able to find in books online specific related to that. And that might be helping us in our research as well. So don't be afraid to dig into those also. Might be even something in news. All right, let's dig a little bit deeper yet. Let me show you some other tricks. I did a search of Google Map for um, ruins of uh, ruins in Mexico, okay, or ancient sites in Mexico, and I came up with this map. So if you dig in, and let's just say that we dig in around here, and I found a number of different locations, and each one of these has got some additional content and information within these. So somebody went out and built this map about this. So perhaps a search for a map mapping out the locations of where your ruins are might be more uh, important. It looks like there's some links down there as well. And then even further, there's another tool, uh, and I'll just show you the URL. It's g.co slash views. Nice website. It's Google Views, so it's all maps of uh, personal imagery and people that imagery of things that people put up. So take some time to go through and explore that site because there's just a ridiculous amount of high quality imagery out there. Well, if we zoom in on Mexico, I just zoomed right into something on Mexico. So there's a number of information down in there you can zoom in. But what I did is I found on that previous map a location that some of those are those runes are found. I typed it in there and I got this. This is really cool. So these are all personal images uh, that people have uploaded from this area in Mexico. So if we click on it, these are all the images that come up. And there's a whole bunch of them that are coming up. So you can click on each of these images and you'll find more high quality imagery of what's happening in just that location. And those are available all over the world. So feel free to sometimes dig in on your map here 
and find additional information like this one's going under C. There's all sorts of other stuff. So dig around, see what you can find. That might be really helpful too. All right, let's move on to one last example. Shipwrecks of Lake Superior. So within Shipwrecks of Lake Superior, there's lots of things that we can dig into here as well. So again, we've got maps that we can look into, imagery, news, maybe news about recent shipwrecks or um, certain ones. There's books over here. If we drop this down, we can find more books there as well. So dig around. There's probably some really cool stuff. I'm guessing there's probably some great videos of shipwreck tours underneath. But there is more beyond Google. So let's take a look at some of those options. And I posted those right below. So the question that I posed to you is what other searches could you run to search for these uh, for shipwrecks of Lake Superior beyond Google? So for example, I found this information, Wisconsin shipwrecks, and it's a map detailing all the different locations. So if we go up to here, Lake Superior, we've got some information of a steam screw, and look at this great imagery. It's probably not something you'd be able to find, but I did a quick search of it and was able to find this website. This is information imagery you may not find on Google Images, and you have to dig a little deeper. So there's some cool stuff there. What about a diving guide. Think differently about where you'd find information on shipwrecks in Lake Superior. Well, there's probably uh, divers that are going through and checking these out and have got it all mapped out. So these might be some cool links to dig into. And then also there's other video sites beyond YouTube. Vimeo is a pretty popular one. So I went on to Vimeo and just searched Lake Superior Shipwreck and look at all the great videos that we found here. Lots of great stuff. So feel free to dig into those also. So think about where you can find information, where beyond Google you can find information, and even within Google, how you can differentiate your search for a variety of different sources to dig deeper and find the answers you're really looking for. All right, we'll move on then to the next lesson.